of course, can be enjoyed in many forms. Some are better fresh, others are better cooked. New cookbook, Simple Fruit, teaches us to enjoy different fruits at their peak flavors. Author Lori Falser is joining us now with a recipe for rosemary apples and crepes with rum caramel sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you had me at caramel. <laughs> we were fine. And one of the points of the book is, which was kind of new to me, is that some fruits actually have a better flavor when they're cooked. Right. And I didn't well, certainly that. a different flavor. So I think the two that I always think about the most are plums and apricots. Interesting. I, I'm not a big fan of a fresh apricot. Some people are, but when you cook those, wow, they just pow, right? right. And plums are the same way, mm -hmm. just completely emit color and flavor. So in in most cases in the book, everything is cooked except for the raspberry chapter, which I don't really like cooked raspberries very much. So for whatever reason, I've the raspberry chapter is almost it's short. fresh. <laughs> no, it's all there, but they're fresh. <laughs> they're fresh. Okay. Or macerated somehow. So we're making this. We're today, making right? to make this Look, one. Is that the most yep. beautiful thing you've just like ever seen? <laughs> and I want to stick my finger right in that sauce. So one of the great ideas about the book is that we're combining pastry recipes with lots of different fruit preparations, mm -hmm. and they don't have to be sweet um, they can be you can actually do this recipe without the caramel you could do it without the sugar in there um, there's a lot of gluten-free options because you oh, can good. just do the fruit preparation good. so a lot of different uh, options. And you can play around and make savories out of almost anything if you really want right, to. Right. So we're okay. Exactly. Do we have this thing right. going? Yes. I'm going to get this going there we here. Go. All right. And um, what we're going to do today is I have some crepe batter already mm -hmm. made up over there. You're pronouncing and it properly. <laughs> I'm going around saying <laughs> that's all right. Crepes, but, you know. And we're going to, um, I'm going to have you make uh, a crepe here. Okay. So we'll get this pan. No, you go with your pronunciation. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just a bit of a hillbilly. <laughs> and in the meantime, we're also going to let's just turn these up a little bit here. Okay. We're also going to uh, make a saute over here with Ooh. the apples. Yeah. So do you have a favorite kind of apple to, to cook? I you know what? I use a wide variety. So if I'm making a pie, I'll use three or four varieties. Yeah. Sweet, tart, sweet, and tart. So I love it. A good I love variety. It. Today, um, what I have are uh, Golden Delicious, which you can get mm -hmm. almost all year round, which is great. And these are Pink Ladies. Okay, so good. these are a little more tart, and these are a little more sweet. I'm not warming up very much here. You're not. I don't know what the deal is. Well, we'll keep working on that. Let's just work on the saute right. part I've right now. already in case we can't yeah. get those done. Okay, so this one's heating up nicely. So let's go ahead and start this. So if you want to go ahead and put you betcha. just that big chunk of butter, leave the small one there. We're going to do some brown butter. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is an application I use a couple times in the book. And it's just a great way to part, impart some great flavor. Um, Teach us how, because you know, most right. of the time we think, oh my gosh, I'm afraid I'm going to burn the butter. But brown mm -hmm. butter has a deeper, richer flavor. That right. really makes it a does. Difference. And what's browning is the milk solids. So it's sort of like clarified butter, but taken a little bit farther. And that's not turning on, huh? No, I think the, the pan may not be right for the induction These surface. It should be the same pan, so. Yeah. All right. Um, you just carry on with okay. what you're doing all here, right. and I'll work on this a little bit. Because it Let's says see if it's, it's on. centered. Yeah. It does say it's on. Let's try this one here. Okay. All right. Follow along at home as we try to make a hot pan. All right. So here's the brown butter. Yeah. So you can see the brown bits in there. It gets mm -hmm. real foamy. And you want to take it to very brown without getting it black. Okay. If it goes black, generally it's going to be bitter and you want to, um, so to throw it out. Call and start it again. about that. Right color? there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So then go ahead and add that. Apples Alrighty. in this will splatter. So just careful. <laughs> <laughs> we had an incident. I know. Once we did before. this once before. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just going to shake this up a little bit. Look at you. And mm. get that going. I'm eating the leftover apple. So there's apple. just a few components in here. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to uh, saute these a little bit. We're going to add some vanilla bean. So if you've never split a vanilla bean, I always hold it here and then down like this and then just scrape it out. That we're going with the one we've crux. got. So, and then just scrape that in. And then if you want extra flavor, you can just drop the bean uh, in. And it's such okay. great flavor. All right. And the apples, I noticed you've, you've cut those a little 
thinner than I normally do. Does that I, help? Well, it certainly helps cooked. on a saute to get them cooked a little bit better. I don't really like really thick apples, and I almost always slice, but sometimes cubed works as long as they're really not really huge okay. cubes. I think I'm too impatient. I need to do just like maybe <laughs> one one more slice on All it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and okay. if you want to grab your um, spatula there, go ahead and just give that a stir. Okay. So just um, a tablespoon or two of sugar, like I said, you could do this without sugar. You could use honey, you could use an alternate sugar, none of those are not going to make any difference. Honestly, that um, I, I have nothing to do with the company, but I find that <laughs> Swerve, the one-to-one -one measurement, and oh, they have uh -huh. brown sugar, uh -huh. yep. works great and okay. stuff like this. You'll never know the diff. All right. So we want to get these cooked all the way through, but you don't want them so cooked so heavy that um, they fall apart. So we do want you do them a little fork together. test if I'm an amateur? You just could to do see. a fork test, yeah. We could just pick one up, actually, and just <laughs> sort it? of, yeah, and just sort of eat it. I mean, that's I like kind that. of what we call in the window. It's yeah. got some flexibility to it. Great. They could go a little farther, so let me give it one more shake. All right. And then we're going to add the secret ingredient, which is the rosemary. That, I mean, that just seems genius because that counteracts in apples can get so sweet. It does. It sort of adds the savory component. Right. So you certainly don't want to oversweeten everything. The key to simple fruit and the key to cooking with fruit is to use the freshness and the sweetness of the fruit. Right. So let that shine through. I grew up with a mother who just, you know, cooked fruit constantly and we had jams and jellies and, and everything. Best. So that's sort of the inspiration for the book and that's where my love came from. But she never overspiced or oversweetened it. So she that's really yeah. so important. Okay, right. we have just about a minute left. Okay. So I All wanna right. see can we dish that baby yes. up? So if you wanna take that plate over Alrighty. there and that spoon. Here we go. I think we can do it right here. Sounds good. And can and I just take ask a crepe? Yes. Looks delicious. What that is that? Um, hazelnut brittle with oh. rosemary and orange. Oh. Does anybody mind if I crunch a little yeah. on TV? It's pretty crunchy. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? I'd buy the cookbook just for that. It's so good. So good. You know, All that right. was a recipe that I created mm. when I was uh, the pastry chef at Salish Lodge. Way to go. And it was an amenity we used for quite a few years mm -hmm. there. And, um, yeah, I've always oh, really yeah. enjoyed the it. So. It really makes a difference. Okay. So, so there just, we go. Yep. And you always want the the um, crepe correct like that. Okay. And you fold it in half. Oh, so that it has this nice generous. Right. And then this is a little rum caramel I've already made. Mm. It's in the book. Pretty easy. You just pour it That's over the in the book as well. Yep. You are fantastic. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. <laughs> Lori shared her recipe for this great dish. You can find it now on New Day's website. Highly recommend it. It's called Simple Fruit, the book. And tonight, Lori holds an event at Book Larder from 6.30 to 8 p.m. We've got a link to tickets on her website as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Margaret. Appreciate it.